This episode actually explains a lot. Hey everyone, Templar74 here with another episode of Poke Talk, and today's episode of Poke Talk is going to be my review of the latest episode of Pokemon Pocket Monsters 2019, episode 15, Snow Day, Where is Cubone's Bone? And I gotta be honest with you guys, this episode was a great Go-focused episode. It's a Go-focused episode that I was actually looking forward to and really hoped that it explains things as far as why Go is the way he is, you know. And I can safely say that this episode checked a lot of the boxes. It was a good episode. We got introduced to Go's family. A little bit of Go's backstory here. It was a good Go-focused episode, in my opinion. But we'll talk about all of that soon enough. So, at risk of further rambling... Let's move on to the actual episode. So the episode begins at Sakaragi Institute where a systems failure has essentially put the lab offline. And so Ash and Go decide until the problem is fixed, they're going to head home. Ash is going to head back to Pallet Town and Go is going to return home respectively. And Go actually ends up calling his mom and dad, Kirin and Aikyo and calls them and says, hey, I'm coming home. And his parents are actually kind of surprised by this, but they're excited as well. And we learn a little bit more about Go's parents here from Go as he's explaining to Ash. His dad is an engineer while his mom is a programmer. So they're always really busy in that. And that plays a little bit more into the episode as we go on here. But anyway... Go and Ash take off, well, Go first, because a bus arrives to go back to Go's house, and it's actually Score Bunny that's more interested in heading back to Go's house than Go is, because Score Bunny actually literally drags Go to the bus here, and when he does this, Go ends up dropping a package, which Ash notices and tries to get it to go before the bus takes off, but he's unable to, and so him and Pikachu change their plans, and they decide, okay, we're not going to head home right away. First, we're going to get this back to Go because he dropped it and clearly it's important to him. So then we go back to Go, who's arrived back home, and we actually get introduced to Go's grandmother, Tome, first. And she's quite a character there, and we learn she's actually taken quite a liking to Score Bunny there because of Score Bunny's personality. And we also learn at this time when we transition, we go back to Go's parents, and we learn that they feel that Go's personality and his very um, limited friend pool, let's put it that way, is pretty much their fault. They feel like it's their fault because they were always busy, so Go was always closed off in his room, and he took more of an interest in what they were doing as far as system programming and things like that than he did in going out, having a regular childhood, meeting friends, things like that. So kind of a really sad moment there with Gove's parents, Kirin and Ikuo. I'm probably mispronouncing those, but those are Go's parents anyway, his mom and dad respectively, and they do feel like it's their fault. And Go ends up actually calling his mom and dad to let him know that he's arrived back home, and he actually says to the effect that he's had some of Grandma's food, and Kieran, his mom, is just, she's upset by this. She's like, oh, that's not fair, and she's having like this moment of a, like an older sister kind of moment where the sister is complaining because you got favoritism from grandma, you know, that's kind of what it was like. And so it was kind of funny there, a little comedic moment. But then Go does feel bad about this. So he, along with Score Bunny, decide that they're going to take some of his grandma's food to his mom and dad just to kind of, you know, make them feel better. And so a very touching moment there for Go. And so, yeah, Go and Score Bunny set out on their mission to deliver their food. And while they're doing that... Go and Score Bunny end up running into this Cubone, and this Cubone is being bullied by a bunch of Mankey who are stealing its bone, tossing it back and forth. And so Go is kind of, he looks at this and he realizes that he needs to do something. And it's about this point, Ash ends up catching up with Go and Score Bunny there, and they decide that they're going to help out this Cubone, which they successfully do. And it's after this whole incident here with Cubone, they end up helping the Cubone. 
Ash gets introduced to Go's family for the first time, and Go ends up catching the cue bone that he helped all day, and Ash gives Go the lost package, which he dropped at the bus stop, and it turns out that that package contained gifts for his mom and dad, and Go actually, earlier on in the episode, realized that he dropped it, and he felt bad about it because he got his grandma something, but now he didn't have anything for his mom and dad, so that really kind of tore Go up as well here. So yeah, that was essentially the episode. Like I said, it was a good Go-focused episode. It explained a lot. Overall, I really enjoyed the episode. I really enjoyed meeting Go's family here in the episode. I thought they were all pretty great. And so yeah, it, it was a strong episode for Go and a good Go-focused episode, which was kind of important in my opinion. But it, anyway, all of that talk aside, though, it was a good episode. I give this episode a 9 out of 10. It was a good episode, not a perfect episode, but a really good episode, and it kind of helped explain Go's character a little bit. The only problem I really had with this episode was it was kind of all over the place, in my opinion. I mean, one minute we're transitioning from Go talking to his grandma to Go's parents, then we're back to Ash, then we're back to Go... You know, I really don't care when Pokemon does these kinds of things because the transition is really kind of sloppy here between characters. But, you know, you kind of understand why they did it, in my opinion. But other than that, that was really the only gripe I had about the episode. But as always, in the comments section down below, let me know what your guys' thoughts were about this week's episode. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you think it was just eh? there what were your thoughts just let me know in the comment section down below because as always i enjoy hearing from you all right everyone as always templar 74 signing off have a great day everybody and i'll talk to you all next time goodbye everybody